Well, with Farnborough in 16th place in the Squill South, their safety is virtually assured. For Maidenhead United, a very different story. Sitting in 22nd place, they must win today's game, knowing that Whitehawk are likely to beat Dorchester. Josh Huggins still standing in for skipper Alan Inns. For Maidenhead United, expect number seven Danny Green to have a free roaming role in the midfield with most of the service going to number 11 Harry Pritchard down the left flank. So as we get underway here at Paddy Power Park, it's Maidenhead United who are likely to be the aggressors in this one. They absolutely have to win today. Ball is through there to Matt Ball who swings in the cross. Comes out to Fraser Colmer on the edge of the area. Turns inside, hits the shot. Henley dealing with it easily. Danny Green. Going past the defence, swinging the left-footed cross there, headed away. And then Adam Doyle, a judge to have fouled. Bobby Bizzardi, that long ball, looking and finding Harry Grant. Grant manages to turn inside Ollie Treacher, pulls the ball back to the edge of the area for Richard Paquette, whose shot is wide. Zardi again with that ball in search of one of the front men. This time it falls to Harry Pritchard who moves forward, hits the shot but high and wide. Good opportunity for Farnborough to stamp their presence on the game. And that ball is cleared. Only as far as Fraser Colmer though. But unable to do any more with that. Matt Ball, that's a nice pass there finding Fraser Coleman. Now there's a real opportunity here for Farnborough to break. Huggins arriving, finding him, Huggins finding Bennett who completely miscues. Lovely flowing move from Farnborough until the finish. Bazzardi, well dealt with by the defence. And a handball there. Danny Green with a chance to get the free kick into the box. Again, Farnborough managing to deal with the first ball in, but not the second one. It's a chance here for Pritchard, gets the ball across the face of goal, but Alfred Bosch deals with it well. Corner. Farnborough pressing forward here. Chance for Courtney Fern to hit it, but that's going comfortably wide. Now, Page here, oh, he's done well, beating his man, keeping the ball in play. Gets the early cross in, and that's Doyle arriving, but that's well defended by Maidenhead United, corner. Leon Solomon, chance to get a, an early ball in, does so, and Fitzsimmons just getting it behind. In comes the throw, oh Paquette has beaten his man there, pulled back for Grant who fires over from close range, should have done much better. Page couldn't quite bring that down. And that provides an opportunity here for Paquette on the break. But Fitzsimmons out well, dealing with it comfortably. And again, Maidenhead look for that ball forward. Again, Fitzsimmons comes out. or oh, miscues his kick completely. He'll have to deal with it second time and does so with his head. The long clearance, nodded on, ball not away yet, that's kept him play well by Farnborough. And Josh Huggins is through here, got a real opportunity, but uh, he's, yes, that's a foul. Now, this is a, oh, Nisbet's completely miscued his clearance here, Page is in, uh, Henley dealing with it very well indeed, good goalkeeping. Page's shot is blocked. It is, however, a better second half performance uh, so far from Farnborough. They've started much more brightly. Cleared only as far as Fraser Colmer, who controls that ball very neatly indeed. 
Matthew Ball, who's been ever present in the midfield today. He's really stamped his authority on the game. Ball pulled back as far as Doyle, chance to hit, but that's a very awkward one on the half volley. Always sailing high and wide. Jonathan Henley with the goal kick. Young goalkeeper on loan from Reading. That's nodded on twice. Great chance here for Green, who gets his shot away, but Fitzsimmons making a very good save and getting the ball away as well. Pritchard here gets the ball in. Alfred Bosch dealing with it, but only as far as Paquette. But good defending from Farnborough, a second time of asking. Farnborough just starting to look stronger and stronger. JJ Hooper dispossessed, but Courtney Fern picks up the ball. Well, that's taken nicely by Phil Page, who's kept control of the ball. Cleared, but out to JJ Hooper. Chance to get a cross in here. Does so. That's a decent ball, but a little too long. Slightly tricky one for Fitzsimmons, but he deals with it well. That ball looks like it's actually going to stay in play here. Well, this is a good opportunity for Maidenhead here with Harry Grant, but Ollie Treach just staying strong there. Now Hooper gets the ball across goal, it's been cleared. All oh, defence not dealing with that well, second time of asking they have done. Ball battling with Green. But it's only gone out as far as Josh Huggins now, Huggins in a little bit of space. Keeps going, oh keeps going, the bounce favoured him. Knocks the ball across the face of goal and Fraser Colmer scores for Farnborough. Lovely run from Josh Huggins, a little bit of fortune, but cool headedness from Josh Huggins who squared the ball very calmly to Fraser Colmer who finished equally calmly and Farnborough take the lead. Well, full credit there to Josh Huggins for providing that one for Fraser Colmer. Nisbet, captain of Maidenhead United. Oh, Fitzsimmons. Well, just a little hesitant there, but does enough. Goal kick. Long throw. Finding its way. A shot, but an easy one for Fitzsimmons to deal with. Well, Maidenhead United have attempted to change things by putting an extra man up front. It hasn't really done anything. Perhaps leave them slightly more exposed. JJ Hooper has taken that ball down very well indeed and shoots just wide of Jonathan Henley's post. Well, a simple route one approach there. Accurate takedown there from uh, JJ Hooper, really controlling the ball well, and that just curled wide. Ball out to Adam Doyle, who finds JJ Hooper, who's looked really impressive since coming on, has had a discernible effect on the game. Hooper still in possession, gets the cross in, Doyle, or oh, miscues completely, but it's fallen to Huggins, who slots the ball past Jonathan Henley, and it's 2-0 now to Farnborough. Well, first time Huggins was the provider, this time the beneficiary of Doyle's miscue. A little fortune for Farnborough, but nonetheless the finish from Huggins, very, very cool indeed. Well, things looking bleak now for Johnson Hippolyte's men, Courtney Firm, what a lovely ball through to JJ Hooper. First touch takes it beyond Nisbet, and the next touch takes it beyond the goalkeeper. What a lovely goal by JJ Hooper. 
And Maidenhead United are getting closer and closer to relegation now. Lovely ball from Fern, that first touch from Hooper beating Nisbet, the second touch, taking it past Henley, a very good young goalkeeper on loan from Reading. Made to look very ordinary by a great finish. Oh, Maidenhead really struggling to find a way through. Fitzsimmons dealt with that very comfortably indeed. Leon Solomon. Tyson Lascaris. Green. Green. This is more like what we saw him do in the first half. He's been much quieter. Green bringing that down very nicely. What a lovely ball through here to Harry Pritchard. Got to be. No. Didn't get a good connection at all. Well, we're in to the last seconds of this game now. And there is the whistle, a comfortable win in the end for Farnborough, a very strong second half performance. Maidenhead United, it has to be said, once they went a goal down, they crumbled completely. For Farnborough, a great win in the penultimate home game of the season. What next for Maidenhead United? They sit in 22nd place with relegation looming. Great win for Farnborough here at Paddy Power Park.